A woman's story recently went viral on LinkedIn because she posted that after 357 rejections, 40 interviews, and two offers, she finally got a job. Her name is Sophia Chung, and she is working, she was working in business administration, and she decided to switch gears and enter the world of tech which made her, that made it a kind of a hard transition. Well, I think anybody who, who's in one career and chooses to switch it is really going to go through a difficult time. And I still remember something that Bethany Frankel told me that I never forgot. And she said, if you have a dream job, like maybe this young lady had this job yeah. that she really wanted, but was in one already, you cannot quit your job and go running to another one. You have to, you know, get your insurance and pay your bills. But she said, put 10% of your time and 10% of your money mm. into the dream. And you can do that, whatever it is, lop it straight off the top and do the same thing with your time and start investing in that dream so that you end up soon, maybe you can make it 15% the yeah. next year and 20% and maybe pretty soon it's not such a scary transition. Mm -hmm. But what she did, what this woman, this woman did was the fact that she got rejected so many times yes. and still kept going. Turned off that voice, which yes. is like, I can't do it. Yes. I know. It's really interesting. I remember when I was looking for my very, 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 very first job, and I thought and I would get one. you studied journalism, right? I know, and you I thought I was okay. Like, I kind of thought I was going to get a job yeah. right away. And I remember the first time I got rejected to my face, I was so surprised because I had a tape, and I went to college, and yeah. here's my stuff. He's like, well, you're too green. And I was like, okay, you're not experienced. Go to this next guy. So he gave me another guy. I went to him, and I said, I'm definitely going to get this job, and I was still all dressed up. He's like, no, no, you're not experienced enough for us. And it just kept going and going and going and going and going. And I kept going and getting the rejection. And there is a point when yeah. you get so many that your whole self-esteem just goes down the toilet and you start thinking, I'm, I'm not I made a mistake, this. right? Yeah. Cause all these people can't be wrong. But then you just need one person to um, say you can do it. And my one guy's name was Stan Sandroni and he was in Greenville, Mississippi. He hired me when no one else would. And I'll never forget it because fast forward to several years ago here in Studio 1A, they said, bring somebody here who's changed the course of your life. And I invited Stan in and he was like, oh, I knew it. I knew you could do it. Al Roker is skinny. Look at Al. Oh my, like, but I couldn't, like this guy believed and that's so shocking because he, he, it was like, yeah. you just need the one. Yeah, it's, well, do you know who my one would be? Who was your one? You. <laughs> I know that sounds che cheesy and I almost didn't say it, but I was here for years doing a lot of different things mm -hmm. and I worked really hard and um, I had producers say, well, you're, you're a correspondent. That's where you are. And that was good. That was what I yeah. wanted to be. I yeah. wanted to tell stories and you asked me to mm -hmm. fill in with you uh -huh. and I'll mm -hmm. never forget it. So my, my one was you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.